Hello happy youtubers, Marcelina here. In this video, I selected 7 best gardening ideas to grow tons of vegetables from home. These ideas are designed for people or gardeners like us who have limited growing space. So let's dive into it. Hi guys, Greg Steven here with you today on CashYourGreens.com and we're going to go over the first different type of uh, growing technique idea called the wiki grow system and this is really a sweet way to grow anything from vegetables flowers whatever you want and uh, it has its own water tube reservoir which is nestled in between some two by sixes and there's holes cut on the top of the four inch pvc tubes and there is a little net cup that's attached to the bottom of the pot that sits in the solution. Uh, the water is fed underground through tubes, comes up through a, a uh, float valve, and the float valve can be adjusted to whatever level that you want inside of your grow tube. Right here is where you can add fertilizer, liquid fertilizer directly into your system, and then you can also Put fertilizer in the grow pots as well these are uh, sun pots grow pots whatever you want to call them they are self pruning pots that allow your plants roots to breathe which will automatically self prune the roots uh, it also believe it or not draws thousands of honeybees in the hot summertime because these pots when they're wicking will uh, sweat water and the bees find this as a very uh, easy way for them to drink water without having to <laughs> go into a mud puddle or into a pond. We'll be picking beans there all summer long. This next thing we're going to go to is the sub-irrigation planter. This is probably the more costly system because of the cost of the wood, the pond liner. Uh, there's big six inch irrigation tubes that are in the bottom of each one of the planters and then all of the soil and uh, ingredients that go into the uh, to the planter itself you can feed the water directly with a hose through the top of the tube like this when you put too much water when it's filled up there is a little PVC tube that comes out the side and it uh, will only get so it'll only hold so much water also, if you're getting a lot of rainfall, you never have to refill it up. The milk crate system is really nice. It's another self-pruning uh, planter, very inexpensive. Holds about four to five gallons of media. We love using these for our lemons and our other citrus plants because of the self-pruning roots. We can carry them inside the greenhouse and they nestle nicely in the in the winter time because of their square configuration we will be eating citrus all winter long now this is our recent one we did a video on this two weeks ago this is the trellis system self-watering it's hooked up to the drip irrigation system and as you can see they are just starting to grow tendrils and they're just starting to grab onto the um, cord and they'll start growing upright. These will produce a fruit about three to five pounds each. We use them in stir fries, soups, all kinds of different things. It's really good. But the uh, this is really neat little system, very inexpensive. Takes about an hour to put together. All controlled from a timer, an orbit timer that we use for the whole irrigation system. We have this tube tubing going completely around the house um, on, a, on three sides of the house. The next one we're going to go into is the aquaponics system. The aquaponics are really, uh, really cool. It takes a little time to set it up. A little costly from your tanks, pumps, liners. Okay. Put some lights in there, your PVC, and understanding how to assemble all this stuff takes a little bit of creativity. But 
we're running koi and tilapia in these. Each one of these tanks are a thousand gallons. I usually run them about 50% to three-fourths of the way up because of the cost of the water. You can grow all kind of plants. These are taro plants or elephant ears. You can eat the green taro. We eat the corns, which are the big bulbs that they produce on the bottom. And uh, you can also eat the shoots when they come up. It almost tastes like a potato. And look at the Carolina Reapers. These Carolina Reapers are loving the aquaponic system. We have to prune it back. They were like four or five feet tall. And we had to cut them back. You can grow so many different plants in the aquaponics and they're fertilized by the fish waste. The plants roots will then take all the impurities out of the wastewater and then when the water runs back into the tank, it's clean. The rain tower system, kind of a neat system. You have all these different uh, net cups on there. I think there's like 40 net cups on each one of these, 48. This is uh, purple malabar that we're growing in this particular rain tower. And there's a, uh, there's a tub down here which is built into the ground, has a pump, and the pump is fed up through that black tube, and then it has a little micro irrigation that goes into the top, and it goes through a strainer so that the water is dispersed evenly throughout the rain tower. We originally were using these for cuttings, but too much sunlight is not good for the cutting, so we moved this system over to a little more shadier part of the house. It gets morning sun, then afternoon and late in the evening time, it's uh, in the shade. We haven't been using it for cuttings yet this year. Right now, just the purple Malabar. If you haven't eaten Malabar, it's, uh, it's like spinach. This is the living wall. This is a hydroponic system. Uh, we have three, three tubes on here that each one fills up and then it drains using a bell siphon into the tube down below and just keeps repeating it over and over again. Uh, the first, the tube on the top is the best one because it gets the most sunlight. The other two don't get as much sunlight. So this is one, uh, if you had this, both of these were in direct. All right, Greg. <laughs> so these are the seven gardening ideas, guys, that we put together for you. And uh, I'm asking Greg Steven, here's what, what makes you great about doing this wiki grow garden well this wasn't a one do it in one summer wonder we did each one of these different projects every summer we would say we would talk over the winter what we're going to do this spring and we'd come up with different ideas and uh, the 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 wiki system was originally the rain gutter system mm -hmm. and I just improved the original idea of it where the guys were taking the gutters actual gutters that you use up on your roof to catch the rain and they were burying it like underground mm -hmm. and I didn't like that idea plus they weren't covered so mosquitoes were able to lay larvae in the water troughs mm -hmm. and that was another idea I didn't like so what so I did is I took the PVC tubes and cut individual holes put it in a trough to get it up off the ground so it was easier to work on and harvest and pick your fruit and your vegetables and stuff so I improved it a hundred a hundred uh, percent of what the original concept was. Mm -hmm. The Wiki Grow Garden was my best garden ideas that I fell in love with. So, um, how about this sub irrigated planter? And uh, I think it is better than the original. Uh, well, the sub irrigated planter was. didn't. I didn't really change much in that. Um, that's pretty much the original idea with the way that they were doing that. Mm -hmm. It's just, uh, it's expensive. It's it not is. cheap, it is expensive. especially with the price of wood right now. <laughs> oh my God, I wouldn't have built it this year with the price of wood. Even a, a two by four is going for $10 right now. I couldn't only imagine what a two by 10 or two by 12s are selling mm -hmm. for right now, like so 50 bucks a piece. So we're just lucky we built that. Yeah. You, know. you want to make sure though you're using good, the good, um, pond liner the heavy duty pond liner don't, don't get that thin crap that they sell up at Lowe's or Home Depot because that just will you'll poke a hole through that so easily mm -hmm. spend a little bit more money go to your garden centers and get the good good rubberized pond liner and the uh, advantage of the uh, sub irrigated planter once you have it you know 
and that's it. Mm -hmm. you, just so you can keep improving your soil every year by adding additives and compost and stuff and just keep keep putting more and more stuff in your soil and prove it every year. That's the only thing you really have to do. Mm -hmm. The rainfall, when it comes down, fills it up automatically for you. Mm -hmm. And if you're going through a dry season, once a month, you just take a hose in about three or four minutes. Mm -hmm. You fill up about this much water in the bottom of that reservoir. And uh, you've got those big tubes underneath there that are taking up the space that hold the water. Mm -hmm. uh, that's so it's that's a good really idea sweet. I mean, you can go on vacation for a month and come back and your plants are gonna be fine. Mm -hmm. You're very, <laughs> you're very artistic in gardening. Yeah. So tell me about the aquaponics. The aquaponics system was built in 2008. That was our first project in the backyard mm -hmm. because we only have 116 of an acre. So we had to make sure that we can grow a lot of vegetables. Well, we, we built the eight foot by 12 foot greenhouse the first, the first one, first couple yeah. of years. And we built in and put about a 500 gallon uh, tank that I built as I built the ones in the big greenhouse. And we, we raised tilapia in there. We had a heated water system. Uh, we're not heating the water anymore. Uh, we don't need to. I learned aquaponics uh, from you. <laughs> yeah. So that was We my... had a lot of fun in that little 8 foot by 10 foot greenhouse. We would have two feet of snow on the ground. We'd be in that little greenhouse. It'd be 70 degrees in there from heating the water. The water, the water heated the greenhouse, but the only problem was the high humidity from that heater it caused a lot of uh, mold growth and stuff like that of certain certain things that you were trying to do like mm -hmm. if you're trying to grow cuttings or something almost mm -hmm. impossible because the mold would kill the cuttings but it, we, it was a learning experience for us and then mm -hmm. we grew, we we uh, built the bigger greenhouse and then we put two 1000 gallon tanks in there we were growing tilapia like crazy we couldn't we couldn't give it away fast enough <laughs> we got tired of eating tilapia <laughs> so basically we we had two food stores, the vegetables and the tilapia. So yeah. if you love fish, that is the great You've got to be too. careful with the tilapia, though, because they, they will breed so fast that they will choke, the colony will just choke it out, and you won't have enough oxygen in your tank. So you have to harvest them regularly, clean them, we had fillet them, freeze them, <laughs> give them away, whatever you have to do. We have more than 1,000 tilapia. Oh, my God. One time, one time our tilapia, they killed themselves because they were overcrowded. We ended up... I bet you with two bushel baskets full of tilapia we put in our garden for compost. When I was in the Philippines, I did not eat tilapia because it smelled good. But our tilapia is it's good to eat. Yeah. Probably. It's what your fish are, what you yeah, feed them. And we use the taro. Taro is an edible vegetable. So you can eat the corn, the root, mm -hmm. the leaves. So it is a great uh, plant to plant in the raised bed because it Gardening is is great therapy. It's a way you can make some extra money on the side. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Uh, it gives you something to do in the winter time. Start planning for the spring. You, you just our summer, our growing season is just too short here in Ohio. I wish we were someplace like down mm -hmm. in Tennessee or Georgia, someplace like that, where we could have a longer growing season. Yeah. yeah. And aquaponic, aquaponics is great. Then how about this hydroponics? Hydroponics is a good way to replace soil, if you're soil because you're using the uh, water. Well, you know, I'll tell you water. what, forget the hydroponics part right now. Hydroponics is okay if you're in certain areas, but right now the wiki grow system, if you're out west mm -hmm. and you're having a drought problem and in you California. can't water plants and stuff, <laughs> California the right wiki now. grow system, this baby right here, the wiki grow system is the way to grow plants, <laughs> minimizing the amount of water because you're not you're not throwing the water down the dirt and the soil and washing it out. You're using the same water over and over and over again. And uh, so this is two really books, good. the, the backyard books. gardening book here. This is another one that has a lot of a lot of different ideas of gardening. A lot of the things that we went over today in the video are on this book. So if so you guys, if you need a copy on, of this, guys, we'll put a link down below. This you can buy these on Amazon, mm -hmm. on the. Uh, What's that? What's that thing called? Their book system there? The uh, Kindle. Kindle books. Kindle yeah. books. You can buy the hard copy, or you can just download and get instant, instant reading. And uh, there's so many gardening ideas. We just selected the best one that we think it's beautiful to have in the garden, especially if you are, if you have a limited space. And in the trellis was amazing. <laughs> the trellis is fun. It's just, you know. Uh, 
she took you, you saw a couple pictures that she took in the video today of the trellis of the opal that are growing here the filipino squash yeah i love they opal. are they're growing like six inches a day mm -hmm. they're healthy they're healthy they got automatic watering system they got full sunlight all day long and we put uh, the sweet peat with fertilizer in the soil so they're loaded they're loaded, they're loaded. for beer so uh, which of these been gardening methods guys you love about growing or building and uh, which one you like best i think one of my best is the wiki grow system yeah i have to like the wiki too the aquaponic we run that all year long mm -hmm. we can grow in the aquaponic and did you see the carolina reaper peppers that are growing <laughs> in the aquaponics it's loaded they love peppers love it i'll tell you what a lot of people don't know this if you take your pepper plants that are in a container and you bring them indoors mm -hmm. they're they become perennials rather than annuals the peppers the peppers you can bring them back out in the spring and they'll keep on producing fruit year after year after year they'll get real woody like a like a little tree you should and, try uh, eating carolina reaper <laughs> well I'm gonna give you that challenge oh yeah 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 I want to see you cry like a baby oh my gosh <laughs> <laughs> one million scoville units no thank you I, I can handle the cayenne peppers and some of the other milder ones but mm -hmm. I took a I did take a bite of one of the Carolina Reapers when it was about that big about the mm -hmm. size of a dime I chomped on it three times and spit it out I saw you that and it took 45 minutes to get that burning <laughs> sensation out of your mouth and remember and, and keep this in mind it burns not once it burns how, twice. how long how long it, how long it takes <laughs> 45 minutes 45 for that minutes. heat to go away yeah wow. yeah I, nothing washes it off milk ice cream nothing nothing washes it they're off. they're beautiful to look at the dirt and they're pretty they're pretty but little they devils are, they're devils <laughs> they're a lot harder than the ghost peppers are they some so, of the other ones in this uh, video today so if you guys enjoy watching this video and if you are give it likes and if you are new to this channel subscribe and share the information to everyone so that's it for today grow green grow big and peace out. Peace out.